Have you ever wanted to work on Wall Street? If you're like me, then probably so. Growing up, I've always been really into finance and business, and so one of my dreams was always to go work on Wall Street. I didn't know what I would do there or even why it was so intriguing. I'm sure it had something to do with the piles of money, Ferraris, and mega yachts it's known for. The idea of living that crazy lifestyle while working tons of hours every day has always been appealing to me. I don't know if it's actually because I like working though. I think finding something in life that you can go all in on over time is what it's always been about for me. In high school, that thing was competitive bass fishing. It was literally all I did. I had no life. And it was great because it gives you that one thing to just focus on every single day. You're excited to wake up. You're excited when you go to sleep. It's all you care about. But then things happen and I got bored because I was really into the business and finance space and I always wanted to be in it in some way, shape, or form. This then led me to start creating videos. My thought was that if I could get good enough at making videos and do it for long enough, then I could use the attention from those videos to start a business. So that's what I did. I decided I'm going to start a sticker business and I'm going to make content around that. With that content and that attention, we'll be able to sell stickers and it'll be a full-time business over time. I went out, bought a camera, bought all the materials for it, the sticker stuff, I learned how to make them. I thought everything was pretty good. I was wrong. It failed. Pretty badly. But here's where things started to get a little better. I took that idea with the stickers, and I bought a few street signs. I realized that I could take those stickers, put them on the street sign, and I could probably sell a few. So I then changed my content up, and I started just making it around building street signs, custom ones, anything that people wanted to see. And I actually ended up selling quite a few. And this kick-started the whole idea, so I doubled down on that, and it's led me to where I am now, which has been pretty good. It's been uphill since. Throughout this whole process, though, I've come to realize that it's the freedom to do whatever I want and work as much as I I want that I really like and that working on Wall Street would actually be miserable. You see, it's not really the money. Everyone wants the money until you start making it and then you realize it's just the freedom that you want. You don't really want someone sitting over your shoulder telling you what to do, telling you when to show up and when you can leave. Now, of course, money is important, but I think your means of attaining it is more important. What you do and how you get it plays a big role in your life. Now, on the flip side to all this, there's probably some great jobs on Wall Street. There's probably a lot of people that actually love what they do. I'm talking about the entry level, build your way up through the corporate ladder lifestyle. That is not appealing to me whatsoever. But starting a business has been the best decision I've ever made. Yes, if it works out, it's going to take a long time to actually do something good, and the likelihood of it actually working out is very low. But the idea of getting to build something over time, without anyone telling me what to do, and the endless opportunities that come with it, I'd say it's been at least worth trying. This is all for the idea that you just shouldn't totally chase money. I think a lot of people go to work on places like Wall Street just for the money, and that's why they end up miserable, because it didn't really satisfy. And that is why I feel I completely dodged a bullet on going to work on Wall Street and that starting a business was the best decision I could have ever made. And I hope you like this sign. Maybe you don't. I don't know.